The place, place where all the hippies were born, you know, where the space cave comes from. And the poem that I want to read is called Space Cake Amsterdam. I was in Amsterdam, you know, I just, I'm a poet, so I travel to make my living. And I was in Amsterdam, and they, I, they had a pro program in my honor. And they had food, they had uh, cakes and biscuits and, you know, cookies. And I was hungry, I ate a lot of food. And after a while, I started shaking. And I asked my hostess, what's going on? I'm not feeling well. He said, don't you know, you have taken space cake. I said, what is space cake? They said, we told you, it's hashish cake. I said, what? You didn't even tell me I'm taking hashish cake? And I took nine pieces. <laughs> and I freaked out and I thought I'm dying. And uh, well, they tried to, my host tried to, everybody tries to tell me, you won't die. You won't go mad. You won't go crazy. You can come back. More they tried to convince, more panicked I became. And this poem called Space Cake Amsterdam. <laughs> Don't panic, they said. Don't panic. Remain cool like your Krishna. Meditate maybe like Buddha, uttering Om Mani Padme, jewel in the lotus. Or lie down and relax like Vishnu on the python bed to float on the ocean's currents, buoyant on the invisible thread of your breath in slow motion. Millions of cats prowled around me. Smoke from shared sex and hashes twined stung my eyes. Unsettling tongue of an awkward fire fed my stomach. I squinted coezily towards a formidable edge, unknown ominous frontier of human life. They laughed a secret laugh behind my back. Isn't it crazy that this man from Kathmandu should get stoned from a piece of space cake in Amsterdam? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be serious, laugh. Celebrate the flame of life, a woman's wife said. Hold my hand. I can imagine you're alone on this trail. I have been there once, she whispered. Her tongue curled like a dry leaf in my ear and crackled. How much did you get? Just a piece? I took 38 grams once. It can be crazy if you don't know it's coming. Just don't worry too much. Don't lose your control over things. You can kiss me if you like. You can pat my back tickle my belly, or stroke my breasts for a while, if it comforts you. Sometimes it can be heavenly, this licking the rim of forbidden frontiers of human life. That's what he wants. That's exactly what he's looking for, a wise leered far off. But I have to go ultimately, she said. I have a man waiting at home for me. Maybe read a poem of yours, someone said. My heart raced wild, and I heard some girls gossip in the next room. What if he gets sick in Europe? Don't we get sick in Asia? Just take it easy, and otherwise he could. You won't go psychotic. Remember one thing, whatever happens, you can always make a comeback. Faces of my dear ones weird past my eyes. I felt the delicate thread of my life slip into my fingers. Hey man, it's fine, don't worry too much, my host shouted. Drink lots of water. Drink black tea or coffee, a guest suggested. Or take lots of orange juice. Maybe sing your favorite song, a woman said. Or recite one of your Hindu mantras. Or maybe stick your finger in your throat. <laughs> and the voice came sheepishly. Throw up, you haven't digested anything yet. Questions came like wind slaps. Can you tell me what they call boredom in your mother tongue? Do you remember your email account and password? <laughs> <laughs> Discuss your children, if you have any. Shall I bring my little daughter before you? Maybe you would feel better seeing her brilliant eyes. I imagined a child's face and clung to it like a penitent would hold on to a sacred cow's tail in his afterlife and slept on it all through the river of blood. Hours passed by and then I heard someone say, what if he had freaked out? What if death had stalked our house tonight? Hearing these words, I woke up knowing I had come back, stepped on the familiar shores of life where death is feared a distant, distrustful thing. My drowse burst like a glacier that cracks from rumble of a seed of fire that explodes somewhere in Earth's deep sleep. Thank you. Yeah,